you can read this slide. I forgot to press record. Here's an example, a couple of examples of conservation of mass. Um, so if, if 1.0 grams of hydrogen combines with 8.0 grams of oxygen, we see that 9.0 grams of water is produced. So the starting ingredients, we have 1 gram and 8 gram, and those add up to 9 grams. The mass of the starting reactants is accounted for in the products. 3 grams of hydrogen will react and combine with 24 grams of oxygen to make 27 grams of water. 3 plus 24 equals 27. So here's the question then. If 50 grams of water decomposes to produce 45 grams of oxygen, how much hydrogen would be produced? We're starting with 50 grams of water and we're decomposing it and we get 45 grams of one substance. What's the difference there? Five grams. Did that five grams of matter just disappear? No. The law of conservation of mass says that can't happen. So this was the original water, H2O, and this was the oxygen. The difference between those must be the mass of the hydrogen. Okay, so the mass of the things you start with has to equal the mass of the things you end up with. 